Thousands of people are marching through central London in protest at government spending cuts. The atmosphere has been largely good-natured, but a breakaway group of protesters has clashed with the police, throwing paint at offices and smashing windows. Earlier, the Labour leader Ed Miliband addressed a rally in Hyde Park, saying there is an alternative to what he has called the government's divisive cuts policy. Well, the government has insisted that Labour's legacy of deficits has made the spending cuts inevitable. Let's join my colleague Sophie Long, who's at the protest at Parliament Square. Sophie. Magazine, thanks very much. Uh, you join me live here in Parliament Square, still in the thick of this protest. They started marching from Victoria Embankment at half past 11 this morning and still they pass in their thousands. That time scale just giving you an indication of the numbers of people involved in this protest. They have come from far and wide. I've been speaking to nurses in Scotland, to prison officers from Nottingham, teachers in Cornwall. Each of them have their own particular grievances but all of them have the same basic message for the government you should stop the cuts they are not necessary and there is an alternative let's hear now from our political correspondent Robin Brandt some want no cuts at all others want fewer cuts but all the marchers believe there is an alternative to the government's plan what effect do you think the march will have today? Well, I sort of hope it raises public awareness and makes politicians think about what they're doing. And do you think it will? Yes. Yes. No. The TUC has billed this as a family event. It predicted at least 100,000 people would come to voice their anger. When people ask who will stand up for our National Health Service, let us say we will. Let us say when people ask who will stand up for our children's centres? Let us say, we will. I feel absolutely rotten, um, because they appear to be relishing it. I wouldn't mind if they weren't. Um, we, we're also divided. Some protesters broke away from the official route. They were small in number. You could see one person carrying the anarchist sign. Shops were vandalised. The police protected some banks. Ed Miliband told the rally that they spoke for the British mainstream, but the government believes the scale and pace of its cuts is necessary and it doesn't plan to change its tune. Robin Brandt, BBC News.